put in the cups for me, please. Yeah, sure. Chala. And then, brother, just add the mix. I'm trying to see if these are kind of have gelatin in them. It's not in the ingredients, but sometimes they're just sticking in the preservatives. Hmm. Tetrasodium, does it have gelatin in it? Um, not to my knowledge, sir, but I don't, I could, I could look it up and... It's all right. I love those my intentions. It enhanced the taste and show. No Sharia in New Jersey. No Sharia in New Jersey. No Sharia in New Jersey. No Sharia. Peace be upon you, brothers. You know, it was cold outside, so Brother Rami and I made you some hot chocolate. What? Nah, fuck you. My papa's laying out here. He don't want to be buried next to this shit. Hey, hey man, don't, don't, don't talk yeah, to him like okay. that. It's okay. We understand. We'll leave these right here. If you want them, they're yours. All right. Have a nice day. We ain't drinking that. This space used to be a church, but they were gonna foreclose them and leave them at the lease. But the interpretation is that we stole their church. Yeah, maybe we should call the cops. I don't know, it, that guy seemed kind of violent, and I feel like giving them hot chocolate, uh, maybe it brings more of them, right? If they know there's hot chocolate here, then they just kind of start coming, like. Who's our example, Ron? Um, there was a woman who used to throw trash every day outside the house of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. The Prophet, peace be upon him. Yes. He would walk outside, she'd throw the trash, he would clear the path, never said a word. And one day he came home, there was no trash. He got concerned. He went over to the woman's home and found that she was gravely ill. He prayed for her, nursed her back to health. She was so overwhelmed by this act of generosity and she embraced our Prophet, she accepted Islam. If there's anything that may show these men that we are not their enemy, it may be that hot chocolate. So, so you think the hot chocolate might make them Muslim? Only God knows. But they're not beyond our love. In the meantime, just pray for them, Robin. Yeah, in inshallah, I, I want to pray for them. It's just one of those guys has a sign that says the Prophet's a pedophile. Do you believe the Prophet was a pedophile? No, no, I stuck for him. Deep down inside, I don't think those men out there believe that either. But right now, they're just so consumed by their fear. I know it may seem odd to pray for these people, but trying to help those who can't help themselves is sometimes the only path for our own heart. Help others, and Allah will help you with your struggles. Our bear, our bond, requires that we try to help those who are lost. Uh, they're drinking the hot chocolate. He found the marshmallows. I'm home to the mouth.